Well, first of all, we were both university students, and we were active in the Christian organization on campus. That organization had sent me and a friend to a, a national convention at the University of Illinois. We were at the University of Oregon. And uh, when we came back, they wanted a report, what we learned at the convention, what was good. So I told what we had learned. It was a missions convention. So I reported on that, and I talked about the indigenous church. After I finished, quite a few students came up to ask questions, and among them was... Me. This. Right. <laughs> And I, I didn't know what to say, really, but um, he was pretty good-looking then, and... Uh, then, notice. <laughs> <laughs> and he seemed to know a lot, and I didn't know what he was talking about, so I went up to him and I said, what is the indigenous church? And uh, so... Then we got together and we had to talk about that. And uh, that led on to other things. And I'm fond of saying from that point on, uh, I knew everything about the indigenous church because that's what he talked about. And, and because she has spent the rest of her life learning <laughs> about the indigenous church. <laughs> About three months later, we were asked to ask me to be the MC at our church's Easter sunrise breakfast, which was a tradition in our church. And she was in charge of the music and the worship. And at the speaker's table at the breakfast, here we were sitting side by side. Wonderful opportunity to get acquainted. And it's nice to be an MC when you have such a lovely person in charge of the music. So we got acquainted and talked and talked and talked. After the evening service, I said, would you like a milkshake with me? And she said, yes. Well, that started a lot of things going, and here we are, still enjoying milkshakes whenever we can. <laughs> <laughs>